Okay, this time we're going to use a reference image to uh, create a uh, background one point perspective. So uh, you will have to go get your layers panel, which is in here, layers editor, make sure that's available. And I shrank my canvas so that I can see it. So I'm going to create a new layer, which I do by clicking over here. And then what I'm going to do is uh, click add image. And what I'm going to do, in fact, I should add it to this one here, which is the background. So my mistake. So here, add image. So we're gonna go here, wait till it opens, and I have downloaded a background sample image. So let's just wait for that to pop open. So I've downloaded that image. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to uh, use a transform tool and size it properly. So I wanna use the, the, not the free transform, but the one that kinda, and if for some reason I want to fit this, yeah, I can fit it pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Maybe I want to enlarge this, okay. Then I will just go and get my perspective tool and this is one point perspective so where is the one point well it's right here okay so i'm going to put it there and this is my horizon line and anything above this if you remember will go in this direction so one of the things i may want to do is lower the opacity on that layer that's a little faded out and i'm going to be drawing on this layer and again this i'm going to just delete this one here um, what's the easy way to get rid of that one Oh, there you go. So I only need two layers. The one I'm going to draw on is over here, and it's going to be my first one. I could probably name it. Uh, where do I rename layer? I'll go rough draft, rough one. Okay. And so what I'm going to do then is just go like this. Oops. That is one thing I realize I don't like about the that tool is I have to, you have to go upside down. Meaning, if I want a nice straight line, I got to go this way. You can't draw it from here to there. You got to go from here to there. Okay. So you're basically going to take the, these reference images and you're going to practice. All right. So um, I'm not going to, I'm going to pause for a second. I'm almost finished here and I'm just going to show you that this tool is excellent for tracing. And this is probably what I would call my rough draft. I'm going to just quickly finish here. So, but I want to show you that the roof on the, the house is not, and that'll be good enough for now. So this won't work on the roof on the house. So you're going to have to turn this off and use just your regular. Well, what I would recommend is this tool, which is straight line tool. And you just go like this and click because there's no shift click shift tool like there is in Photoshop. So I find that that's about the only way you can do it. go this way and there you go so that's my first draft so now what you may want to do is create a new and then start well you can maybe you're really happy with it and you want to keep it I obviously need to fix some stuff here maybe I want to draw my my door here and my set dressing for my scene and as you can see I can't really if you were going to do the doors and all that you should still keep your grid on otherwise you will have all kinds of mistakes okay so that's for the uh, one point perspective. That's how you can use your reference image to guide you. My advice is do not use and do everything exactly like the reference image. You want to make it your own. That's really important. Uh, but uh, that's a first really good step. If you have any questions, please let me know.